This is a Mercedes ML63 AMG, and it is going to be our test bed for testing the Ghost 12. This one is in a ported enclosure. What you guys asked for is frequency response in a normal car. And this is what I've got for a normal car. This is the only kind of normal car that I have. So we've got uh, an SUV. If you're unfamiliar with the size of what this is, uh, if you can't really tell from here, it is smaller than a Tahoe, uh, but bigger than a Trailblazer by a little bit, that kind of size, a uh, little bit bigger than an Explorer, smaller than an Expedition. And uh, this is going to be our test bed for RTA, and eventually we're going to do SPL on this as well. Uh, but in this video, we're going to cover the Ghost 12 in ported and sealed, and then there will be another video for the 10 done the same way. So what are we doing? Well, if you notice, right up there, I've got the microphone for the RTA set up. Now, why did I do it right there? It's right near the headrest. That's where your head is. That's where you listen to not the windshield. So that's where we're gonna check it for a reference point. So this is our good size SUV. Here's the enclosure. There's our RTA. There's a van that's for sale if you want it. Uh, but RTA is gonna be set up on there. I'll show you that as we're playing it. I'm actually going to be controlling it through that wire back to our AF5500 available on emfcaraudio.com. And I will be controlling it from the normal setup that I would control the stuff with our head unit and all that right here. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I have all the infinite adjustability with this and all that kind of thing. So I can tweak it however need to tweak it remotely while also watching the RTA. So I'm gonna get you set up on the RTA so you can watch it. We're gonna do a sweep from 10 Hertz to 100 Hertz and we'll see exactly how this sounds. So if you remember from on the bench, it was pretty flat. It just all the way across. So this will tell you how much it affects in car. Uh, I'm gonna go up on the volume just a little bit to see if this changes any, but obviously we've got a huge peak up here on 42 and then a giant trough down here on 57 or so. And that's just, that's the vehicle. Uh, that's not the sub, that's the vehicle and the box in it. So we're gonna go up on volume after I reset this just a little bit, see if it comes out any different. see we've got a pretty similar result uh, we've got our peak up in there and that's gonna be a vehicle peak we can't avoid and that little drop-off is one of those things that we cannot avoid uh, so in terms of how well this enclosure works well we should be tuned right around this neighborhood so you see it does fall off but it doesn't fall off really hard vehicle picks up a lot of that uh, our difference an SPL from down here, 96 to 101. So there's 5 dB where it falls off and then it kind of levels out. I have no comparison of this vehicle on any other spectrum, but we are gonna try the sealed enclosure, the exact same thing, and uh, see 
we should, I would think, have a, a different result from being bored to having the peak up here, but you know, we'll see what. And the seal box is in the same position over here. So we have an exact point of reference. Uh, let's just push a little bit further back because the box isn't as deep. And you see, once again, we've got that massive dip right there. We've got a peak right there. It kind of falls off. So it definitely matches up between sealed and ported. They're both pretty flat. It's just, this is what you're dealing with with the car. Uh, this wouldn't be quite so bad if that massive dip wasn't there. I'm guessing there's a uh, standing wave that's happening right there in that spot. But that is the 12 inch sealed and ported. What other tests would you like to see? Would you like to see it in a different vehicle? Would you like to see maximum SPL? How else would you like to see the ghost line tested? Let me know in the comments below. As of the time of posting this video, the ghost series is not posted on EMF car audio just yet, but they will be soon and we'll open pre-order as soon as we're ready to, which should be relatively soon. You can also check out our AF line of amplifiers, the 2000, 4000, 5500, and 7500 as well. And don't forget to check out all of the other Ghost Line testing videos.